Beijing is all set to expand its orbit in the South Pacific region. But China's expansion plan is troubling the West, and that has now led to an Australia versus China fight in Oceania. As foreign ministers of both the nations have embarked on a tour of the South Pacific Islands to woo its leaders. This comes after China announced its latest five-year deal that the Asian nation is offering to 10 islands of the region pertaining to extended security and economic cooperation. China's leaked draft of the agreement claims to have a lot on the platter for these islands. Here's what China is offering to these countries. Significant financial assistance, the prospect of a China-Pacific Islands free trade agreement, and access to Beijing's lucrative market of 1.4 billion people. China is also mulling training the local police in these countries. But like all other deals, Chinese agreements too have a catch. And here's what Beijing is eyeing in return. Access to local cybersecurity, expanding political influence in the region, gain greater access to natural resources through marine mapping. Now, if approved by the Pacific Island nations, China's plan will increase its footprint in the region, which is seen as crucial to the interests of the U.S. and its allies, dominating the area for almost a century now. China's expansion plan has troubled Australia the most, a country whose foreign minister has urged the island to spurn China's attempts to extend its security reach, while calling themselves a better fit for a security partnership. We want to work with you on your priorities. Uh, we want to work together as part of the Pacific family. Uh, obviously, we've expressed our concerns publicly about the, the security agreement between Solomon Islands and China. And the reason we have is we, we think there are, as do other Pacific nations, we think there are consequences. Uh, we think that uh, it's important that the security of the region be determined by the region. Uh, and historically, that has been the case, and we think that's a good thing. However, the Chinese foreign minister has made it clear that they don't want other countries to interfere in its regional pacts with the island nations. Let's now understand the geographical aspect involved in this war of creating dominance in the South Pacific. The map on your screen shows the shared ocean region between China and Australia and the 10 islands Beijing is planning to approach. These include the Solomon Islands, Kiribati, Samoa, Fiji, Tonga, Vanuatu, Papua New Guinea, the Cook Islands, Nui, and the Federated States of Micronesia. Now, the Federated States of Micronesia President David Panuelo wrote a stark letter to fellow Pacific leaders warning against the agreement offered by China, claiming that it would allow the country to acquire access and control of our region, while calling the proposal disingenuous. Now, this comes at a time when Western nations and the other islands are already alarmed over a series of secret agreements between Solomon Nations and China. It's important that we continue to make that position known to the world, that Solomon Islands is committed to that very important principles, and to call on countries that have yet to do that, to respect, and especially countries that are members of the United Nations, must respect the resolutions of the United Nations to recognize the one China principle. As the details of the Chinese plan emerged, New Zealand Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern too raised security concerns, while the U.S. State Department called China's proposal shadowy, claiming that the deals lack transparency. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.